You go. Me. Hi, I'm Robert Welsh. And I'm James Welsh. And this is your weekly reminder, every week. Every week. <laughs> every week that we are not the same person. Please start to think that. You're ruining our lives. <laughs> <laughs> we have merchandise down below. Hi! Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Today we are looking at advertisements and there's something there's something quite disturbing about the olden day advertisements, wouldn't you yeah, agree? Yeah, I think well when we do our historically accurate videos and we look at all these old adverts and some of the trends and some of the wording that was used during those trends, it's it's quite funny slash horrifying to look back on some of these videos. It's like adverts they're they're very blunt, they're very to the point. And I think the further back you go, the more terrifying. It's like, are you a woman? Yeah. You need soap. Impress your husband with these hips, <laughs> kind of stuff. Make all your friends jealous with these knees. With these cigarettes. With these stockings, like that <laughs> kind of thing. So we are going to look at some old adverts and have a little reaction time to them and just see how we feel. Come, be shocked and amazed with us. Come over here. <laughs> Come this way. Into this gap. Let's have a look, Van. We started off with Jean Nate. I love her. I don't know what, th what this is, do you? Take a minute to indulge yourself every day with Gina Tay because you can't be good to others unless you're good to yourself. Everybody's gonna feel it. You're gonna have everybody feeling wonderful, glorious. You feel as you feel. What's the product? A body, what lotion. Is it? a body lotion that's water. Imagine the son of a child watching yeah. her wife jump up that's and down. That's your mum jumping up there. She feels good. She's good to you can because we, she's good to herself. Can we just have a look? Right, so she, she's all jumping for the world. And then she's applying this body lotion. Like how they used to wash their face in the Garnier advert. Oh. And it's like going and I thought she was having a shower. No, I think, look, she picks it up and then she splashes it on herself. Oh, she does. So, the undertones from this advert, I'm getting religious white woman gospel. White and picket fence. White picket fence. She, maybe she has some kind of depression, but she also has a body lotion. And a brave face. Yeah, it's gonna make her a better mum, a better wife. All these people, I'm assuming that's her dad in the background. Like, who are the other people just watching her? Imagine just being like, oh, come on, we need to go, and then I'm in the garden jumping. <laughs> and everyone's like... <laughs> And uh, go to the beginning. Was one of the things it will make you happy? Shine each morning, spread and joy to the world. Gina splash you happy. Splash Jean, you happy. Jean, 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 splash you happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> that that one, I think, as an advert now, wouldn't pass because it's a bit too blatant. People would be like, like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, yeah. People nowadays are like, "With with bifida Q10." Bifida, actually. Dive oh, we're in disposable underwear. Yeah, doing this. Yeah, dive actually into genitals. That's the thing, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is very much like, you know what, you will be a better person. That's what all adverts used to be. Like, yeah. our product is going to make you a better person. Yeah. It's going to make you jump yeah. all throughout the day. Yeah, this beef stock will make you a better wife. I do miss the jingles, though. That's one thing yeah. about adverts, is like the jingle, genitate to make you happy. <laughs> Splash a <of> genitate. <laughs> Splash this body cream. <laughs> Can you imagine? Our watery body cream. <laughs> but there's something about a thick water for the body that I'm kind of... I'm yeah, really I wonder if it was like an in-shower in moisturiser. It's like a toner let's for your body. Let's not Google it at all. Let's never find out. Oh, let's go into the next. That's our secret. That's Gina Tate. Gina Tate to make you happy. The next one's Laren Lipstick. Never heard of this brand. Me neither, but it's very 70s. Say it with Laren Extra Lush Lip Colors. Mm. Say it fascinate, but say it a word. Let Laren do the talking. Oh my god, I love that. That's a really good advert. However, that man became a thief as soon as he saw her lipstick. What do you mean? He stole flowers from wherever they were. Criminal activity shouldn't be used to sell <laughs> lipstick shades. 23 lipstick so shades. So let me put this on. Instant criminal. Gina Tate will make it still things. 
<laughs> no, it's a good at Laren. <laughs> this is very much like the old adverts where yeah. like use this to get get man. your man, get your husband. Like you're doing it for the men. Yeah, who's a thief? Who's a thief? Steals flowers from hotel receptions. Yeah, but this kind of advert is so rare nowadays. It's actually quite nice to see. <laughs> In a way, it's like in uh, a way that is so like tacky and like oh, yeah. that's like kind of comical how how blatant it is. Yeah, um, it kind of reminds me of like all the Pons lightning creams. Yeah, like, the adverts in like India where mm. they're like you don't have a job and now you're white. You don't you have do. a job. You don't have a boyfriend. Yeah. You don't have anything, and your friends kind of hate you. Yeah, but now you've used this whitening cream. You're gonna get like is that blatant, it obvious, is. and problematic in yeah. a way? Yeah. Um, but again, the jingle, like, this could have been her applying lipstick and doing her own shit with that yeah. jingle. It would have worked just as well. She fine. could have been jumping up and down. Holding a red book. <laughs> it's good lipstick, though. Yeah, yeah nice, do you right? see all the colours? Yeah. That's nice. Look that that orange is really beautiful. And there's just a clear mm. one, like a Vaseline. That did she, so well. Did she know him or did she not know him? I think she just picked him up. No, you know what I get from this? This isn't her doing it to impress a man. She's like, I want him. Let me get my Laren lipstick. She's doing it for her. She's doing it for her. <laughs> Night in. Thief man. Thief That's man. Like, that I can't see past the fact that this man, instead of like, oh, let me grab something quick, just went, oh, um, oh my God. Oh my God, there's a rusty old <laughs> plant here. Yeah. And they're probably fake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, I think she's owning this situation. She knows what she's doing. She's so pretty. Oh, I love that 80s makeup. Yeah. And that lighting. Mm. But sometimes when we do like the 70s videos and the 80s videos, people are like, I remember this product. Do you remember this lipstick and what is it? That luscious? Because it looks really good. Does somebody commit a crime for you? Is Lauren still around, Ashton? I don't think so. Christ! All right, Max Factor eyeshadow. She discovered that Max Factor's new eyeshadow gave her high definition eyes. But then what? The cute guy had been making eye contact from behind the pages of a Dickens classic. When she passed by him, she smiled and said, "Great book. It's even better right side up." Is again is again about a, a cup like um, flirting and makeup. The only reason for makeup is to attract a member of the opposite. This size. one had a bit of both. So I think he was does... like flirting with her, looking mm. at her like this, and then she was like, "I've attracted a man, but I don't need." I'm gonna you. shame him. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it's like makeup adverts kind of did that in the late '90s, early 2000s, where it's more about empowering with makeup it's like rather a step than into that. Didn't yeah, it? like no. One man. thing I really liked about this is the flute. Yeah, the the one of flute. Yeah, I love I love a flute music. Maybe not in oh, an advert. Don't get me wrong, I love flute in the woods. Who doesn't music. love flutes? But th- that was a bit. Um, it was it was aggressive. It was like she wore eyeshadow. She wore eyeshadow. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a little. It was like a little bit jazz. Oh yeah, it's trying to be like spoken word uh, and coffee jazz. club. Um, it's the same shit, isn't it? It's the same shit. But you know what? I enjoyed it. I liked, I would um, find the instrumental fad. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> Max Back to Eyeshadow. Yeah. Instrumental. instrumental. <laughs> Maybelline. Okay, this is Maybelline Perfect Pen Eyeliner. It Ooh. actually works like a felt tip pen. Thick lines, thin lines, whatever. You're in control. And isn't that nice for a change? Perfect pen. Smart, beautiful Maybelline. I do find it funner how all of these adverts, and of course, it's obvious, have like that male element. Like, yeah. we're, we're just a man and but woman. They're still involved in it. Like, it's yeah. gone from doing it for men to showing men who you are and how powerful you yeah. are showing the men. Yeah, yeah. It's just weird, isn't it? It's like for for a change. It's like it's like for a change. Though. We're in control. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to feel about that one. I do. I like that there's like these little storylines, but yeah. it's just the wrong story because nowadays it's literally this. Yeah, true. What are you doing? I just noticed a gap in my eyebrow. Well, but what happened after? He applied eyeshadow. He stared him in the face and said, I like your book, the, eye, the right way around. The right way around. <laughs> Moist, <gasps> wet, wonderful colors. Colors that lick your lips. Moist to whip colors by Maybelline. With moisturizers and a protective sunscreen to keep your lips very soft, very moist, very wet. And I think that's very wonderful. 
moisture whip lipstick by Maybelline for long lasting colors that lick your lips. Do you think it was supposed to be like that? I feel I feel that was really aggressive. That felt really aggressive. That felt really forceful. Like I was just made to watch pornography. Do you think it was meant to be that or have we just become too crass? <laughs> I think we've become the, the visuals, fine, really Stunning. beautiful. I get it. But her getting very wet. Very yeah, nice. I, I think the the lipstick in the water was enough to emphasize yeah, how wet it she's was. Yeah, she's in a swimming pool. Like, it's wet. But I, I mean, oh. Wet. Wet. <laughs> I mean, it sold it. They look good and the, the, no, I get the moisture. Good. Yeah, yeah. That was, it's just very aggressive. To be fair, I would buy that. I would buy that. Oh, that looks like any other one. I would, I would yeah. buy that. I want to be Linda... Carboner. I love that, like, uh, fake foliage, plastic foliage. Moist. Yeah. Wet. And in that bit, it's like, it's, um, like a little bit, uh, more forceful Nigella kind of innuendo. Yeah. It's, it's very, because she, she seems quite classy. She's like, take this cucumber like penis. Yeah. No, penis like a cucumber. cucumber. She, she, yeah, this, the, the, like, if you took away the audio from that advert, I'd be like, great lipstick. So very nice. But now I feel almost, like, guilty for buying it because I'm approved. Weird. Very wet. Very wet. I think it was a voiceover. Yeah, it was, yeah. Well. That was disgusting, Ashton. What, are you into porn? <laughs> Is that it? You like porn? <laughs> <laughs> Maybelline oh, lipstick. Your lips are gonna drive people wild. With a sleek design in lipstick. Ultra Slim by Maybelline. Ultra Slim lipstick is long and slim. With a slant tip for easy control. To go easy around the curves. Easy around the corners. To shape beautiful lips in racy, creamy colors. Your lips are gonna drive people wild. Ultra Slim lipstick by Maybelline. So, you know they car, they sell sex in car adverts. This is like... 10 times that because it's selling a sexy car, making a lipstick sound like a sexy car. Yeah, it is, lipstick. but also at the same time, like about the body. Uh, yeah, like this is a, this is give you dick lips. Imagine, <laughs> imagine being in like just watching TV with your parents and that comes right. on and then straight after, wet, wet, <laughs> moist, moist. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maybelline. They're fucking disgusting. You need to get a grip, Maybelline. You do, Maybelline. But to be fair, like this is funny to us nowadays because nowadays you do just see what they're. It's because it's so obvious. Mm. It's like, oh my god, stop. It's, I think that back then it was obviously all about how it looks, whereas nowadays people want innovation and they're like powers and ingredients right. and right. Um, so nowadays they're like Q10, yeah, maybe or whatever, yeah. Um, and this is how it works yeah. and what it does rather than just how it's going to make you look to other people. Is there a product you think this kind of advertisement works for? Not just beauty, but anything. Probably like a cake. Food. This wet, moist cake. Mm. Yeah, food. I'm in a wet world, you. I think food. Yeah. Think about the M&S adverts and all that yeah. kind of stuff for slow motion. Yeah, very porn. Food porn. Yeah. Maybelline mascara. Oh God, here we go. She's gonna be like, I like your penis. She'll be like, I like your bizzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like my lipstick. <laughs> Maybelline thinks you should be pampered all the way to your lashes. That's why they invented a mascara so rich, so gentle. It's named Rich and Gentle. Rich Clever. thickness plus gentle care. How thick you choose with Ooh. the exclusive Maybelline dial control. Feel free to use all you want. It washes off without irritating rubbing. The gentle formula pampers your lashes. Rich thickness plus gentle care. Rich and gentle. Dial control mascara. Only from... Love it. That's, love it. That was love that. very love well that. done. I like when she was like, yes, and the camera came and she was like... <laughs> Use all the lipstick you want. How was this like the 20s, but also the 70s at the same I time? I know, isn't it? It's like, oh my God, I'm watching yeah. a whole film. I love this kind of dress style where it's like, I am dressed like a grandparent, but also... But I'm like, still me. young yeah. still. I'm also not getting married, but yeah. I Yeah, yeah. Again, sign of the times, a straight couple, a white woman wearing makeup. Yeah. I am upset. Do they still do this? Why is, it like, minute, why is that fire so vigorous inside? Oh, it's so close Look to Look at him. that fire. What's going on? Oh, no, that was an cooking. illusion. Just cooking. Oh, That's a kitchen. It's the impression of a kitchen. Does click mascara still exist? I, do, I haven't seen one. Uh, I knew Mac did that one where it was like, Ashton, what was that thing? The Mac mascara that's two layers. Oh, hot and naughty. Hot and naughty, yeah. where it would almost like filter through. You pull, pulled it through one tube, but then you suck it in. If that makes and sense. Do you think that's how it works? Is it would close up a hole? So like. <laughs> ah! Oh, 
So it would only yeah. like let a certain amount out. I think so. I think How she was fun. most See, regal. that advert is is fine if you're not really into the sexual advert. It tells you what it does and yeah. how it's going to look. Yeah. And that she even said how to take it off in the yeah, aftercare. Yeah, well, and uh, tips. Tips and tricks. Yeah, TikTokers take note. Yeah. Right, next we have Sea Breeze. <laughs> oh, we know Sea Breeze. If you think beautiful skin is only something you're born with, get wind of Sea Breeze. Beautiful skin can be a breeze with Sea Breeze. The antiseptic invigorates. Beautiful skin can be a breeze with Sea Breeze. Accelerates. Imagine just making wind out everywhere you go. Because you're coming to sit now. At the end, she was next to her partner, and the thing blew off. And it was like, like typical oh. of her. I'm like, for fuck's sake, my ex men wife. <laughs> <laughs> she is what, 12? <laughs> <laughs> She's about 12, and all these men looking. Look at this this older, mature gent with his wife. Oh, that's rude. Sniffing her wind. Sniffing passing by sea breezes. Sniffing her moist, cold wind. That's like, I mean, people do that now, really. I, there's still that underlying tone of, I mean, there's not really men doing this. Yeah, no, like, that's... yeah, it's just, everything's become a lot less obvious. What I like is her full face of makeup at the end there. <laughs> if you knew it was, you would think this was a hair advert. Yeah, you would. How many fans, look, look how great look her, her hair looks. Hair. And even he says, like, look at her hair. Yeah. Sea breeze. Sea breeze. Like, yeah, breeze. Like a shampoo. In the hair. He's like, I'm cheating on my card game and my wife. And my wife. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know why, what this is? Because sea breeze is your typical astringent mm, with mm. like some variations have stings menthol, your face, so it yeah. stings your face and it gives like this, ooh, crispy and feeling. And like, it's not stinging, it's just a breeze. Yeah, it's just breeze. Okay, so we're gonna watch this video. This is from 1937. It says comedy, but I don't think it's funny. It says how to dress in front of your husband. <laughs> how do you undress in front of your husband? Very shyly. I do this. Yeah. I, I'd go into a different room and they'd come out just wrapped in tissue like <laughs> they used to do back then. <laughs> in a gown. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> the candy camera has brought us a new low down on the higher apps. What does that mean? The best sellers have taught us to wake up and live alone. And and like it. What the fuck? Our beer boasts its thinning. Our smokes aid digestion and our mother-in-laws would walk a mile for us. What's this saying? Hang on a second. <laughs> One second. But how about our women? Do they satisfy? <laughs> With all these modern disadvantages, science has done nothing to make marriage safe for husbands. <laughs> this isn't real. The old marriage institution has limped along for centuries, burdened by boredom. Men have submitted, suffered and supported long enough. <laughs> Therefore, we've decided to do our bit toward the relief of marital boredom. Um, to the ladies. <laughs> how, how is that connected? How is it? What does that mean? So they would be like, you know, our cigarettes are good, our children are great, mothers in laws great, but, but our, our women, women <laughs> aren't dress. Are they're undressing wrong in front of us? Science has done nothing. So this must be a series because this is less than one. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> I can't believe it. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was going to be like. <laughs> this may appear to be only monkey business, but in reality, it's very serious, ladies. The demon with a glint in his eye and the little black gadget is a candid camera addict. Public menace number one. Him? For all the peeping toms of all the generations pale into insignificance with modern super peeper. While the scene you now see being sought to see the no longer safe ladies are homes. For this fiend is liable to be anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> hiding in the folds of your shower curtain. And let me warn you, don't cling to the idea a closed door will stop this snapshot Shame. sniper. 
chill. It won't. But where there's a door, there's generally a... And keyholes simply bring out the peep in him. The victims of this uh, focus fiend invariably end up in the soup. Sometimes the soup is only the photographer's developer. On other occasions, it's front page notoriety. This all depends, of course, on who she is, what she did, and uh, where she did it. I have no idea what he's talking about. Wait, is what he saying that he people about? would, like, people in Tarzan take pictures and they could just sell them to newspapers? Well, this is why he's making it sound like a national emergency. Yeah, like, was, was that a thing? I don't know. That's terrible if it was. Can you imagine? Oh, mm. my God. No Wait, but please don't say this is going to be the reason why they're going to tell you how to get undressed properly doesn't get spells. This photophobia addict. And to illustrate my point, we'll just tag along as this super snooper pays a visit to the boudoir of a famous Hollywood personality, Elaine Barry Barrymore. That's Elaine Barry Barrymore. As we edge up to the keyhole, we find Miss Barry just returning from a Hollywood party. It's 6 30 a.m. 6 30 a.m. What the fuck is she doing? Drugs, by yeah. the way. She is totally unaware of our presence. And Hang on. <laughs> I'm so confused. This, right, this is what's annoying, right? This is this is a completely made up situation. Yeah, and they've just created this undressing thing for no for reason no whatsoever. Reason. Yeah, and they're saying so just in case she's aware of their presence. And Why can they just be like, this is how you undress, not like a peeping tom's? This is how you undress. They need to scare them into doing it. Yeah, it's crazy. She's completely at ease, doing the things she does naturally, without ostentation. In the old days. The boudoir was considered a sanctuary where a lady could retire, if she wished to, in privacy. But in this age of snooping reporters and candid cameramen, nothing is sacred. So let's settle here and now the question of how and how not to one of your husband. You know what? This is weird because this is like telling women how should how they should act when they're on their own as well. Yeah, it's, it's not like e- like outdated etiquette. It's mm. like you should be on high alert yeah, all, the time, all the time, being like put on a show all the time. Can you imagine though coming in like drunk at six o'clock in the morning? Right. And then I ju- that that's what I would do is kick off my slam yeah. the door, kick off my shoes, throw up, sit on my chest loungy. <laughs> yeah, throw up too much. Just launch. Yeah, drink too much water. Yeah. Down through the ages, women have paid meticulous attention to the matter of dressing. They have consumed hours and hours in getting just the precise effect desired. Each dainty garment has been donned with the utmost care and thought. No amount of time or effort has been considered wasted if the final result was alluring glamour. But ladies, when it came to undressing, that was something else again. Technique was thrown to the winds. Angles were disregarded. <laughs> what? Angles. Angles. Because someone could potentially be watching yeah. and taking pictures. Wait, we- You're forgotten. Now, Miss Barry is unquestionably an authority on undressing. And I suggest that you watch her closely. Notice the ease and grace with which she slips out of things. No lost motion. No awkwardness. From all appearances, you'd think she'd spent her life on dressing. That truly is artistry. What? Ah, there should be some developments here. No, I'm afraid the developing has gone the limit. However, Trixie's been around, and when it comes to undressing, she should be able to show us a thing or two. Oh, now, Trixie, please, don't forget your bedroom manners. But there's no one there. Back in the Barry boudoir. Now, I'm sure we'll see something. For Miss Barry has excellent bedroom habits, and she unquestionably has it. Oh, she must have it. Or didn't she capture the world's greatest lover? Have what? She not only knows how to get a husband, but how to keep him. The what? Well, that's what it says in the script. Ah, now we're getting right down to business. Wasn't that executed beautifully? Doesn't that prove beyond all doubt that it isn't what you obviously reveal, but what you artfully conceal that makes it really intriguing art? Have you noticed the poise of the body, the rhythm of each graceful movement? To the appreciative, there is in a scene like this something truly uplifting. Yes, indeed. Style, charm, and distinction come from neither beauty nor money nor a combination of the two. They are the simple result of aesthetic sense, cultivated taste, and a persistence in maintaining the lovely little tricks that every girl practices on her first sweetheart. Miss Barry has a subtle artistic ability to inject suspense into her disrobing. A most commendable habit, ladies. So it's, it's a striptease. It's a striptease. It's a, strip it's a show for the husband. Yeah. 
But also getting changed again. Yeah, because, you know, they <laughs> sleep in separate beds and stuff. She needs to watch her angles. I'm sorry. It, it's just, like, why would anyone be doing this, though? Like... But can you imagine? I wonder if back in the day, if a husband would come up to his wife and be like, we need to watch this moving picture. Yeah, I, I want you to watch this. <laughs> yeah. I want you to see who uh, you take... think you are. Yeah, what one do you think you are? <laughs> but, like... You know when you go out with your partner and you're polite and you have all your manners and you get home, you put your pyjamas straight yeah. on and, like, you know, you look like shit together. Yeah. Is that, just, like, back then where... No, were they so, I guess not. How the fuck did they ever relax? Well, it was it was this whole pandemic for husbands. Yeah, <laughs> poor peeping husbands. Yeah. And one that should be universally adopted. Now, she's about to slip out of her slip. No, no, it's not a slip. It's, uh, it's her, uh, her, uh, well, let's skip it. Unmentionables. To convey to you precisely what I mean by aesthetic sense, let's follow the candid camera to Trixie's once more, where that other celebrated taker offer may be able to show us a few other wrinkles. Trixie, after all. You know, we're holding you up as a colossal example of boudoir finesse, and millions of women all over the world are eagerly waiting to see just how you do it. Come, come, Trixie. Let's get down to the foundation. Bet her undergarments are uncomfortable. Did you see how this gal puts up such an imposing front, Trixie? These ladies are all here to learn how to undress. They're not interested in how to take down an awning. Oh. They want to see your technique. Oh. Isn't that awful? Oh. Oh. The SS normally is in. Really, ladies, I'm terribly sorry. This sequence has turned out... Did he just call her, like, a boat? A what ship? did he say? He just said the SS Normandy is in. No! Is that what he was saying? Oh, my God. Censored. <laughs> now, for a little light on a real subject. Let me see. What, 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 what are you going to do now? Rest? No, I believe there's something coming off here. No. Oh, yes, no. of course. She's going to put on her kitten heels. Yeah. Uh, lovely eyes, don't you Evening think? kitten heels. Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, I hadn't noticed them myself. You see, ladies, Miss Barry always rolls her stockings down from the top. Never from the bottom up. That's a very good point to remember. What How would you, you take off your stockings? How would you roll them bottom, from the bottom up? <laughs> This man's a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, delightful nonchalance about this little lady. A studied indifference that is certainly effective. Invariably, she keeps you guessing as to what she'll do next. A trick which never fails to intrigue the average husband. When Elaine rolls them, they stay rolled. I mean the stockings, of course. Trixie even gets into her own hair. Life is just a bowl of cherries to Trixie. But she's the pits. And take a look at the hoosers she's got on her head. Those things went out with blind pigs. Well, they'd have to be blind to take Trixie out. Blind? Oh, her husband must thrill to such exotic charms. No wonder he has business at the office. Oh. Afraid I'd have business in South Africa. <laughs> this guy's a fuck. I'm gonna punch this guy in the throat. He's such a fucking <laughs> dick. South Africa is fucking horrible. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Right, listen. It needs to be somewhere in between. They're obviously exaggerating yeah. her and using yeah. her as a bigger lady. To yeah, kind of exactly. Like, clumsy. Oh, clumsy. Yeah, what a crazy. mess. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just, like, no one's what, like, why? There's an in between here where, yeah, you do kick off your clothes. Yeah, but I'm you also, do. you're not going to put on a pair of kitten heels to go to bed. Yeah, or scratch like you have crabs. You're not going to, it's like somewhere in between. <laughs> but I, I get itchy in, in, at night. I do. I get like, I, itchy, I get, like front itchy legs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's bring some night perfume. I do that. It depends. I, I think oh, it's too strong sometimes. Mm. To sell herself to the man she loves until she lands him. And after that, she just sends him monthly invoices. And I think this works. <laughs> I should think so at all. In a few moments, Trixie will fold up like a dump truck and call it a day. Yes, I was right. The dreadnought is about to drop anchor. Oh my fucking <laughs> god. And, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah? Through the all seeing eye of the candid camera, you have witnessed the correct and the incorrect method of retiring. In the instance of Miss Barry, so you have seen how it is quite possible to disrobe quietly, gracefully, without effort. There's no need to get out of your clothes as though you were emptying a sack of potatoes. There's no point in leaving your bedroom like a cyclone that struck it. After all, Trixie, we like you, and, and fun is fun, but, but please don't be primitive. As for you, Trixie, I'm cured. A do not disturb sign will no longer bring out the keyhole peeper in me. You have washed it completely. At last, we 
sigh with deep regret to think this lesson's done. Such sweet repose, such lovely power. And hubby's asleep. He's been out for an hour. And ladies, a final word of warning. This candid camera fiend is all about. And he'll expose you if you don't watch out. What the fuck is this so weird? So I'm rude. so confused about the concept. But they like, so they're like, if this is happening and it's something we have to like grow to accept, because men are, men will be men. Is that in the yeah, situation? Like they're taking pictures of you through your blind. So make sure you undress properly. Yeah, but and remember your angles. I'm so conf- That's the worst bit of content I've ever watched. <laughs> they need to go back to the drawing board and they do. about the audience. They do. Which seems to be men. T- time sure is a fickle thing. Time sure is a fickle thing. <laughs> That was what I, I I can see where why it went from impressing men, wearing makeup for men, taking back your power, and now it's all about just doing it for you mm. and the science and a fun time and a fun time. It's nice to see how far it's come. Is there anything you're gonna take from any of those videos? Um, I might buy a nice bed dress. Yes. I'm gonna buy some bedtime heels. Yes. And roll my stockings from the top. Just in case somebody's watching. Just in case there's a peeping Tom. Do you spy on people getting undressed? Let us know below. (laughs) You can watch some more skincare content. James underscore S underscore Welsh on Instagram, TikTok, and just James Welsh on YouTube. (laughs) And for more makeup content, you can follow me, Robert Welsh on YouTube, Robert WSH on YouTube, no, not on Instagram, and Robert Welsh MUA on TikTok. Um podcast. Bye! Bye! P.O. Boxing, welcome. Dust shields your eyes. It's so bright. <laughs> we have a P.O. Box if you want to send us anything, you can do so below. Even just a letter. Yeah, even just things. Let's do the first one. Don't, you're making me feel hot. I'm not hot yet. You're making me... Find <laughs> 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 right, the letter first. I didn't know this one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my Who is god. this from? Who is this from? There's no letter or anything. Vanessa, Vanessa, oh. thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, stop. Look at this. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Halloween! <laughs> So close to Halloween. Look. Oh. You know, it's like, you just want to chew it a little bit because it's yeah. so cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love it. These Let are actually amazing. I love you these so much. That is so cute. Reversible thank plushies. You. Oh, these are amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. Thank you so much, Vanessa. That's so nice. Oh, Christ alive. Must be aliens. <laughs> Must be aliens involved. Welsh Twins channel with a little sticker. Don't sue. sue. Hands. <gasps> oh, stitch designs. This is from. May I? I feel a court case coming on. <laughs> oh my okay, god, this is Mark, gonna be fucking. One for Mark, one for Ashton. If this is cross stitch, I'm gonna shit myself. <gasps> I think it, it feels like cross stitch. Oh my god. <gasps> Go on, then. Ah! I just saw. I just saw yours. <laughs> Oh look! Wait, let me oh hold it. That God. is so cool. Let's see, Ashton. Let's see us. <laughs> <laughs> if that's it, yeah. That's this is Ashton. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's so oh, cool. Thank you so much. Um, Ashton, would you put these in evidence for ready for our court case? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to open my eyes to so see what I it know. Is. I do too. Do you think you would mind? Do you mind? Should we do it? Yes, yeah, let's do it. Okay. I just want to see. I'm sorry, we just so have cool. to see because it's so good. Well, best, best editor. editor. This is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Let me rewrap that back up. I we we need like an art wall, like somewhere. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> These are so cool. Thank you so much. Be in the comments. It'll be in the comments. <laughs> description. <laughs> no yeah. description. Go on, open it. Fucking open it. <laughs> Don't say fucking. My window is open. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's from Audra. I oh, know Audra. Okay. Not Audra, it's from oh, Audra. Audra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Christ. Audra, I'll just be over here. <laughs> Hi, my name's Robert, and I love Disney pins. Look at this. Oh, wait. You can't see. They all have Tiana on. Oh. Yes, thank you, Audra. Let me open this one. No, calm down. You're being crazy. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
I'm allowed one. Audra said I have one of them. No, 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 no. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know what she that is. She just messaged me. You don't know what that is. She said I'm allowed one. You don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. Is it a fanny pack? Oh my God. Yes, oh. it is. <gasps> well, I'll be wearing this on my trip. I feel like you've spent too much money already. Me? No, Audra. Thank you, Audra. Wait, Look it's got this. headphones in it. Oh, crossbody. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, not on your bum. <laughs> Audra said I'm allowed to pick whatever I want. It's a very you need to, you need to stop. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. It's a little haunted mansion and you make it out of metal. Oh, that's that cute? really cute. Aww. I too like metal buildings if you ever want to reach out and send you one. Go grab me, <laughs> go and grab me a water. <laughs> Well, Give me you're an iced water. <laughs> oh, I oh my god, I have two of these now. I mean, thank you so much. Someone sent me one of these the other week. What is it? It's a key. Oh, uh, I'll have that thank then if you've you. already got some. No, one for me, one for my <laughs> Disney room. You don't have a Disney room. <laughs> that room's oh, my yeah, Disney room. Yeah, yeah, sure. What else would you call it? I just heard a bang. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. <gasps> stop. Audra, stop. <laughs> oh my god. That's oh I'm my god. god! It's a haunted oh, magic band. Cool. Aww. Now I can put oh my, my tickets on there for October. Sorry, but when you go to America, can you get me some Pepto Bismol? They have it just for. <laughs> you want money? I'm time. gonna forget. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. So much. Plus, James can have one of their. She didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Things that were never said was that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a whole one, another one here, by the way. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so good. Oh. Okay. Listen, I was going to take another suitcase for merch in October, but I don't know. Sure <laughs> oh, this is this one's for James. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another one of these. That's right. We'll be matching. Me and this is different. We're matching when we go in October. What is this? Doom so buggy cute. song features iconic song from Ride. Get it open respectfully. You, you carry on and I'll respect. Okay, it. respectfully yeah. open it. I feel Ride. like this might be the one that you sent me that got lost because I'm I, there's like doubles in here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's the skyline. So Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Audra. Look how cute that is. Is this what you ride around? Respectfully. In the ride? I, I am. Respectfully. I am and you do this. <laughs> Pet the bismol on one of those, please. <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm just going to sit here and all this bubble wrap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, so much, everyone. Thank you, Audra. That was amazing. Thanks, Audra. If you want to send us anything, you can. <laughs> Keep the packaging together respectfully. Uh, I'll have the cardboard. No no, <laughs> no, 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 It's below, it's below. Oh my god, there's a card, there's a card on my neck. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.